tell you guys what. I was scratching my head in that last video about Henry Cavill being replaced by Sasha Kalau, Supergirl. It had me scratching my head. I said it couldn't be real because Crypto Dad proved that Henry Cavill was on set of the Flash. Then I saw this. Ha! Ah! So Henry is getting erased? Nobody is erased, says Viewer Anon. Now the thing about Viewer Anon, this dude has been credible out there in the scoop of world. Let's find out what else he said. This is someone calculating bits they've heard from real scoopers and they're making stuff up around it. For example, King's Batman is not established as killing. Zod and Feora are on exactly the same mission as Man of Steel. So this is the thing about it. That leak that came out about Henry Cavill being killed as a baby, it was... It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No. Not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. It's fiction. It's fiction. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Fader J. Back like I left something, and I'm glad you're here. I am absolutely glad you're here. And today, we're going to be talking about false rumors about Superman, Henry Cavill, being killed off, erased, and replaced. You know the big news that came out a few days ago. Absolutely false, because I believe in these two guys that actually have proof about Henry Cavill showing up on the set of Flash. Now, you might be saying, Fatal J, you worried about the Armadaverse? No, I'm not. I'm only worried about the Snyderverse Superman Henry Cavill character, and if he's in that joint, I'm definitely going to watch the Flash. And based off the information, he's going to be in there. What a freak when you have General Zod in there. But before we get into that, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, Make sure to hit that notification bell. Because every time you hit that notification bell, it makes me feel oh so good and oh so swell. Yeah. So I've been scratching my head, man. And I've just been thinking about Henry. Henry Cavill, they killing him off as a baby. And I understand the multiverse bull crap that's going to go on in the flash. <laughs> they better pull this off because... People are going to clown it forever. But I understand the multiverse and doing something different, just like Endgame. Endgame really started all that multiverse stuff. But to kill off Henry Cavill is so disrespectful because he is that Superman, Clark Kent, Cal Al character that's absolutely dope and people adore and have been fighting for to see back on that screen. So to see that they killed him off as a baby was a travesty. It was wrong. It was crazy. So I did my investigation and I was looking around on Twitter and Reddit and I found some things that, you know, tickled to my fancy. You know what I mean? <laughs> and if you are known, I've seen some things he said. I remember what Crypto Dad said crypto dad is the guy who actually showed the flash suit months before warner did and he said in fact that he saw henry cavill on set with ben affleck's batman but i know what you guys are thinking fatal j you're lying and you're trying to get clicks well <laughs> let's get into the reason it says right here it says from viewer or none the Flash is essentially traveling in one gigantic maze. Zod and Feora are obstacles in the way. These timelines are just multiple paths. It's up to Flash on how they overcome these challenges throughout the Speed Force. And this is on Reddit. And if you are non, he says again, yes, very much this. Uh, Zod and Feora are the major physical threats in the movie, but they aren't the main villains. It doesn't have a classic hero versus villain structure. That makes sense. I have heard uh, from a lot of people out there that Zod and Feora 
They're not going to be the main villains. They're just a obstacle in a way, uh, kind of like several characters that was uh, in Endgame where you saw old characters uh, pop up. Uh, just like Spider-Man No Way Home, you saw uh, the Sinister Six, but they were just obstacles because Green Goblin was the main character, the main villain in that. So I can understand that. But if you're going to have Zod in there, you absolutely have to have Henry Cavill. And I think they're staying quiet about that to get people hyped up. That's like one of their big surprises out there. But let's continue with the absolute wonderful reading from viewer Anon. Uh, <laughs> Viewer Hanan, he says right here, he says, uh, this is someone collating bits that they heard from real scoopers talking about that replacement thing that uh, uh, your boy is going to die when he's a baby by General Zod, uh, Henry Cavill, um, the real scoopers, and then making stuff up around it. For example, King's Batman is not established as killing. Zod and Feora are on exactly the same mission as Man of Steel. Uh, the guy at the bottom, he says, thanks. Uh, if you can answer this, is Supergirl from the same universe as King or a different one? That one doesn't really matter to me, but I'm telling you guys, Henry Cavill, he's going to be in this joint and I'm just to show you guys why, uh, it was a guy out there many months back named Crypto Dad. Uh, just out of the blue, because I checked out his Twitter, and there's it, nothing really stand out. He's one of them NFT, uh, stocks type of guys. And just out of nowhere, he was claiming that he went to high school with Henry Cavill. Uh, he was on set. And then something happened to this dude. And something happened to me too. Because when he put up that flash suit, it had to be real. Because I made a video about it. And when I made a video about it, YouTube strike my channel. That suit was real. What that guy made was real. But I think Warner got to him. And I'm about to explore that right now with you guys. Let's read it. Uh, CryptoDad.eth, he says that's awesome. He said a few weeks ago, I did some work on the new Flash movie with Superman and Batman on set at the same time. Boyhood dream come true. Of course, I'm still not going to show that image, but it has Flash, it has Ezra Miller in front of the green screen. Now, he didn't show any Batman or Superman pictures, but what I thought was so dope is he actually dropped the suit months before the trailer, months before Warner even showed anything about the suit. So this makes this guy really credible, and it just makes me wonder why have everybody had forgotten about this? Everybody's sad, and I fell for it too. Everybody was sad that Henry Cavill was getting replaced, that he might be dying. But this is the thing about Reddit. Reddit are full of scoopers who put all that crap together that they don't learn from this rumor here and this rumor here, and they put it all together to make it look good. And that's why I'm glad that viewer Hanan out there is calling out these people and, and, and really checking this thing that's going on. Let's continue. Uh, from my boy Crypto Dad, he says, geez, this got some engagement. He's talking about after he dropped the picture. He says, sorry for not replying sooner, but I actually have a life outside Twitter. Yes, Cavill, not saying anything else. Also, we'll be leading the, the, leading the tweet, so you fanboys better screenshot it quick before it's gone. And no, I won't be getting fired. I think at that point, Warner Brothers told him something. He deleted the tweet. He had to delete the tweet. He was on set. And of course they have those uh, NDAs where you cannot say anything or you could potentially get sued. I'm going to prove it right here. Let's check it out what he has to say next. Uh, the guy, let's talk Scooby-Doo. He said, all right, just hoping he is so we can have Superman and Supergirl on screen together. Uh, Crypto Dad, look, I spent one night filming on the set. It was dark and I'm not great at recognizing people, especially at night. As a fan, I hope the same. You see how his tone has changed. Warner got to him. Uh, all right, just wondering. Uh, that's Scooby-Doo talking. All right, just wondering because you confirmed to someone else that Cavill was on set. Just hopeful thinking it wasn't a lie to hide things up because that happens a lot in DC fandom, sadly. We just really need hope. Warner got to him. They got him. Trust me, Warner got to me to a point where I had to quit talking about DC for a little bit until the strike came on my channel. <laughs> man, that freaked me out, made me mad. All these emotions coming in out, it made me go crazy, man. <laughs> Let's read this. It said, pal, I don't give a elf. 
If I hyped it or not, I spent one night on set. All these bullcrap questions are pissing me off now. I barely remember it as is. Consider yourself and anyone else that asks me any more questions is blocked. Uh, he said, hi. Uh, I know you probably don't give too much info and probably won't respond, but it's Superman and Flash movie. Crypto Dash said, didn't have it, don't know, haven't seen it. So Henry Cavill wasn't on set of The Flash. Wait for the movie to come out and you will find out. Warner had to shut him up. But I know for certain that Henry Cavill is in this movie. I highly doubt, because Grace Randolph said to they, herself, they're going to not do away with the Snyderverse. They're just pushing it to the side because they know that's money. That's a billion dollar uh, a, a franchise right there. And they're just going to stick to the script, to the Hermitaverse, and to the merger com. But I'm telling you guys, I believe in my heart, especially for Crypto Dad after they shut him up and viewer or not. That article out there about Kelly Henry Cavill was the only get clicks because Zach Schneider had got his Oscars and they tried to figure out on these articles and blogs, how can you come to their channels with the bull crap? You guys should let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Do you think Henry Cavill is getting replaced? Is you thinking that the Snyderverse will return? I know it's coming back. Get back at your boy Beta J. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell because every time you hit that notification bell, it makes me feel oh so good and oh so swell. I'm out of here, Ninja Bad.